Hi, I'm Mike Millen. I run Fly Electric. Uh, this is a 48 volt <laughs> electric vehicle that we're going to convert from a lead acid battery to lithium ion. And we have these batteries here. These are the newer lithium ion that we're going to set up in these. We have to make a box to put them in to support them because the original boxes are obviously bigger. And these are much smaller and a lot less weight. So we're going to start building the boxes now and get them fitted to the original battery boxes. Okay, what I did here is I built a box basically the same size as the original boxes and I've got some dividers in here for setting the batteries into. I made this fit back in the existing battery box like so. And then as you can see on the other side I've already got some of the batteries in here and the way they're going to end up. Um, we'll show you a better view here in a moment, but uh, I wanted to see, show you that the boxes are going to be in and they'll have a cover over the top. Probably have some fans in them to help cool them because I don't know how much heat they're going to generate yet. So that'll be another project for later, but right now that's the boxes we're putting together. Okay, this is the National Electric Vehicle that we're putting these uh, lithium ion batteries into. This is the this is the box we put together. This one isn't finished yet. It'll have some uh, little rubber on the bottom to keep a little support. This is a 3 volt lithium ion battery. And it's 50 amp hours. And what we're going to do is we're going to be putting six of these together as a 6 volt battery to make 150 amp hours. And here's what they're going to look like just uh, with them in the box that's made for it. They'll be set up like this <laughs> yeah these will be strapped together in in series so we'll have three and three that will be one six volt battery and then we'll have six twelve eighteen twenty four we'll have a forty eight volt vehicle when we're done here okay what we've got here is I've got the first bank of batteries set in the box I've got the wires they're strapped so we've got two four six volt batteries hooked together in series which gives us the twenty four volts on this side the other side I'll be doing the same thing with uh, shortly. Uh, just wanted to show the finished box here. These uh, pieces of wood on top will have a felt or a foam on the bottom of them. And when I put the lid on here, it'll push down and hold the batteries down into place so they don't move all over the place. They'll have some sort of secure to them, security to them. Okay, what we've got here is I put the first set of batteries together. We can see the uh, batteries are hooked in we've got the strap the strapping on them and the cables run for each one this is one six volt cell too and obviously this would be 24 volt here and we'll be doing the same with the opposite side here now these straps here these pieces of wood actually have foam on the other side and when I put the lid on they'll be pressing down onto that so I can um, hold the bat help hold the batteries in place they're also sitting on a little rubber pad so once they set there they'll they won't move around and they'll have a little bit of a cushion okay I got the batteries together got the wiring in got the straps down these are supports for later we're gonna leave the boxes open so I can take it for a run we're gonna make sure nothing gets hot I've got a, a test light or a heat gun here where we can check the batteries each time I I'll pull over and take a look or something they're around about 63 degrees it's kind of cool here in San Diego today so we'll uh we're gonna take it down the road and see what happens okay I'm on the road let's see what it does here if you see if it anything blows up you know we'll get to see it guess I better just go up the street first Check with the heat gun, make sure there's no real problems yet.
just took it down the road, took it for a spin, everything came out pretty good. They're still ice cold. I have no idea whether they're going to ever get warm, but we'll see in the future. Um, what I'm going to do now is finish put, fitting the top boxes here, put the top boxes in over the top. They're going to have a couple of legs sticking off on them, and they'll push down on these uh, supports in the center, and that'll keep them batteries nice and tight. And it'll be just like that, because when we put the bed back on here, we can't go in there for a while. Um, in the future, we'll have some uh, openings in the bed where you can just take open the hatch and get right into the batteries and so you can do some checking and testing to make sure there's any no problems going ahead. We're going to hook up, uh, get our battery management system and battery system hooked up. This is the old battery charger we're going to be taking out. We're going to be putting in a new one here shortly. Okay, so I've got the boxes together. I've got the batteries all in. I've got the tops made with the little legs that are going to hold the batteries in place once we put the cover in place. Now I'm hooking up the battery charger and the BMS, the battery management system. We've got a lot of wiring here to play with and we've got to protect all of this does so um, that's going to take a little bit but I just wanted to show you the end result here and we'll get the camera up so you can see the uh, top end of it this is what we look like when we're done here and then uh, basically these boxes will go in and cover up put the screws to it we're all done now well, we've got it all set up and we've already done our test drive everything seems to be coming out okay this particular vehicle also has solar panels on it we do charge these batteries with the solar panel i'm doing a test right now before i put the bed and then the stuff back on it just to see how everything is working and so far we're doing really well um, we're using a morning star charger with uh, cairo zero Cairo Sierra panels from Kinetic Polarity. We'll uh, check them again later once we get them all hooked back up and put the bed back together. I've got the bed and I've got the uh, solar panels getting going back on. I wanted to show you what we did. We had to we put an access hole in the bed. What I did is I cut, cut a hole directly over the batteries. We're going to put some screws in here later to fasten this down, but this gives us easy access to the battery panel. And I, what I did was, once I cut it out, was I put a strip of steel underneath to give it a little lift for this the lid to go back on and have something to be able to put the screws through. And then we've got great access to the batteries in the future for cleaning, maintenance, and any other problems that may happen. Okay. So, I'm going to get the panel bolted back down, get everything wired back up. You know. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm hooking up all the sensing wires for each individual battery for the BMS to take care of. Um, we're going to put the BMS under here. Sorry, Karen, it can't go in the front. This is as best I can do for you, keeping it safe. Uh, we'll figure out how to look at the lights later, but right now that's where it's going. Um, okay, I finally got my instructions, so they're still Chinese and they're still hard to read, but I'm pretty sure I got it figured out. We're going to... Uh, keep hooking up the wiring here to each one. I got the battery charger set in place, got everything wired up. Um, right now it's in charge, we're looking pretty good, we've got most of the lights. Uh, so now I guess it's time to um, button everything up. And here's the finished products here, this one's going to look like inside. And these are all our sensing wires. Um, the way this is set up is each one of these guys here will have one of these guys here pushing down on it and this is the, the cover for it so what's going to happen is, is I'm going to put this back in here and when those go down on top of it it will push down on that and it supports the batteries and this will also help seal it keep a bunch of the dirt and crud out of here I did get the battery charger and the BMS but I'm afraid there's something wrong with it the fan doesn't come on it smells like it's burning so I've unplugged it turned it off and We'll deal with it uh, at a later date, but I need to get this back together. So, there we go. Nice, pretty boxes.